So you guys know quarantine has people going crazy, but this next story is unreal. Um, NFL uh, players Quentin Dunbar and DeAndre Baker um, have turned themselves in because this last weekend they decided to um, commit armed robbery. Um, apparently they were at a get together, um, not practicing social distancing. And an argument had broke out and they apparently pulled out a semi-automatic semi um, and started to rob the individuals at the party. So this is just insane that this even happened. But what are you doing robbing people? What are you doing taking almost $7,000 worth of chain uh, watches and, and jewelry? It's just insane. Um, and also just to name one more, Ed Oliver is allowed to practice um, in team activities after arrest. So clearly people are losing their mind during quarantine. Yeah, Ed, Ed Oliver, his situation was a little different because he, he was on the sauce. He had a little bit too much and he thought it was okay for him to get behind the wheel. So, and we know how that situation ends up, you know? So his was a little bit different. Um, that was just, you know, just irresponsible on, on his behalf. Um, I hope he, he, he gets some help because obviously clearly he needs to talk to somebody. Something's going on. You know, I, I never understand these guys that, that go out and get DUIs when you have drivers, you have Uber, you have so many different options on how to get home if you're going to go outside. So at this point, I'm just like, you know, I, I just, I, I can't, I have no sympathy for you at this point. You got to know better. You've seen this over and over again, as far as Ed Oliver goes. But um, with the other two, with, with, with Baker, first of all, as a Giants fan, I'm just disgusted because, you know what I'm saying, that you would even be involved and something like this anyway when we're supposed to be at home. Um, they have, however, um, have several uh, statements from eyewitnesses that were at the event saying that it wasn't those two. Um, we're still early in this whole in this whole case. Um, I'm glad that they, they did turn themselves in, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that within the next couple of days, and by the time we get back um, next week, we'll have a lot more information. Um, and see, I hope it's not the case. I, I really hope that these guys would not throw away their career for a couple thousand dollars. I'm, I'm hoping that, and I pray that's not the case. But again, we're going to have to wait on that one for a little bit more info to come out. Yeah. Um, in regards to Ed Oliver, I like Ed Oliver. Uh, he was my favorite rookie coming out last year. But that was a, a just a foolish move. You could have paid one of your boys to drive you home. You could have got an Uber, a Lyft. Um, I mean, I don't even know where you were going because the city of Buffalo is under quarantine as well. So <laughs> yeah. I don't even know where you were driving that you were drunk and then decided to get in the car when you could have drank at home, bro, or you could have just stood wherever you were at. Um, but that was foolishness and he's got to be better than that. He's, he knows he's got to do better than that. Yeah. Um, again, a first round pick with high expectations and got a lot of guaranteed money. So he got to be better. Mm -hmm. uh, Quentin Dunbar, uh, DeAndre Baker, who was another first round pick, that situation could ruin your career, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I hope for their sake, they're both young guys. I hope that it isn't true. I hope that they're able to beat these charges, not just because they're football players, but because we understand that in the world we live in, young black men with that type of charge, they're done. Yeah. They, they are not getting a second chance mm -hmm. ever. And I hope it's untrue. However, if it is true, I mean, that is one of the dumbest things you could do to be at a party, decide to stick up the party, and for for a couple dollars when both of y'all making NFL money. Like you can't tell me it's that bad that yeah, you yeah. that you gotta rob a party, bro. I think that's the most puzzle puzzling part of it, because it's like you guys are NFL like the headline sounds insane. Like two NFL players commit armed robbery. Like what? Not that it's ever justified, but dang, it's not like it's like, you know, a single mom with that's poor or like this random kid. Like it's like NFL players. So yeah, I mean yeah. I, they always say that money doesn't. I mean, first round draft picks, right? right they, first they, round they, draft they picks. And, and the, uh, I believe it was the New York Post who had the story out today. And I laughed when I saw, when I read the story, not because it's funny, but because, so DeAndre Baker gets held on a $20,000 bond. He bonds out immediately. Um, one, because he has the money. But two, because last year when he signed his rookie deal with the Giants, he got $6 million guaranteed. So it's like, what the hell are you doing if you did this, what yeah. were you thinking? Because if you could bond yourself out with $20,000 just like that the moment you went into jail, you damn sure didn't need to rob the party. Yeah. yeah. I, part of me, you know, and hopefully this, this will come out later, you know, that it's not 
fully this isn't the fully the full story right i thought when i read it um the fact that they were at a house party and in in an argument broke out and that they pulled out a gun i think that you know maybe drinking was involved somebody got a little arrogant and tried to flex and maybe he pressed somebody but you got to think about who's around you and who's thinking oh they are so-and-so with millions of dollars i'm going to sue or i'm going to say this so you you know you have to leave that up to for interpretation like you never know the situation because i can't fathom them robbing someone with the intention to take their things if they have yeah. this much money it's just like i don't know it's really it's a weird situation very very weird story and like i said for, for their sakes and their career i hope it's untrue um because i would hate for young guys with the potential they have, especially DeAndre Baker, again, a first round pick coming out of Georgia to kind of throw it all away for something as stupid as armed robbery. Like, right. come on, bro. You you just got $6 million last year for the Giants. There's no way you hurt. There's no way you're hurting for money that bad right now. No yeah. way. Again, we definitely thank um, everybody, you know, that's on the front lines out there. You guys, um, you know, saw last week that we went out for uh, Todd Gibson to uh, Fort Greene and uh, he brought food to the to the NYCHA workers. So big shout out to him again and to all the, the workers that are on the front lines. Um, and uh, finally, damn, it sucks. I, I hate to I hate to have to, uh, you know, talk about this last uh, story just because, you know, OG uh, King Kurt is a friend of the show and it, and, it, and we literally just donned the, the Nets gaming crew as our uh, official Real Fans Israel talk team. But they actually had a couple of well, they had one suspension, and they had one uh, fine uh, for for players on the um, on on the Nets uh, gaming crew team. So uh, Randolph Moreno, he is suspended for the entire 2020 um, NBA 2K League season for mm-hmm. conduct uh, that was detrimental to the team, and uh, they also they fined. Uh, Wavy, uh, Isaiah Wavy Hancock, seven hundred fifty dollars. So uh, you know, shout out to OG King Kurt. We know we know you're gonna get this thing together and, 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 and got drafted. Uh, Chop this year, who, who came on the show earlier. So you know, what I'm saying we know you're gonna you gonna get it together, bro. I just I don't know what the two K dudes is thinking to even get kicked out the league. All you gotta do is play a game, bro. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Like what? you ain't even gotta be in shape. You ain't gotta do nothing. That. Like just, just sit down and Mind play. The business. Hey, yeah. Play and it's crazy business, because uh shout out to CJ. So the other player that we interviewed at the uh the two K League draft, Tom Lee Cook, actually he was coming off of getting suspended from the first season of the NBA 2K League. And, and she spoke to him about that, you know what I'm saying? And, and, he, and he spoke about how hard it was coming back. Wow. So it was just like, yo, like, it's crazy. Like, come on, man. And this is every kid's dream. They're getting once in a lifetime opportunities that aren't, it's not your everyday job. And even just as we go back and speak about those men getting arrested and doing just this, this foolishness, it's like, it makes you realize that money doesn't change you. It amplifies who you are. And it really comes down to a character thing. And what are you guys doing? Like, what are you doing? You know, yeah. so insane. And that's a wrap for today's show. Thank you guys so much for always tuning in and staying locked with us on this quarantine lockdown. We'll be back next week for more sports news. Uh, once again, I'm your host, Emma Marie. And I have Legend in Two Games and Trip Young. Yep, out of here. What's good? Misfit, Murder Ave Gang, we in the building. Make sure y'all check out my last battle, Fire, Always Bodies. After that, check out Real Fans, Real Talk.